Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pseudos Crochet and More. This is your host Crystal. Today I'm doing a review on the Barico or Barocco Vivo or Vivo. This is a lightweight three yarn. It's 100% cotton. It's 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, 317 yards or 290 meters. It is made in Italy. It recommends a Fill four, bleh, I can't talk today, four millimeter knitting needles and a four, a four millimeter crochet hook. So it does recommend both sizes for the same knitting needles and hook. Now, the care instructions are machine wash in cold water on delicate cycle, lay flat to dry. And this was $15 for this. I got this from the Yarn Seasons. Uh, walk through if you haven't seen that walk through i will link all the videos for that so you can go back and watch those i'm pretty sure i have not done a review on this i've been trying to find yarn to do reviews on this week so you guys have some content to watch after my two weeks of hiatus um now this is a roving style yarn as you can see it goes from thick to thin so I'm not going to use the wraps per inch because that's not going to give an accurate or, you know, just to see if it is really a lightweight three. That's the thickest it should go. And it's probably going to go down to like a two or a one rate, like right here. So we'll see how this crochets up. Let's go ahead here. And I do apologize if I've done this before, but I don't think I have. It might, this cake would look different. A lot of nice colors in here. It would show that I had actually pulled um, from it. At least I, I would hope it would tell me that I pulled from it, you know. Let's see, can I pull out on this? Or is this going to be one of those tricky ones to find the center on? Okay. Uh, I don't know if I want to pull that side. I might just take the outer um, band off. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I really don't want to have yarn barf. I'm done dealing with yarn barf. <laughs> I know there's some people out there that love it, but I can't. It makes my nerves go crazy. I can't deal with it. I'm trying to find the end out here. There's the end. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be, nope. Let's see. Pardon me while I figure out which one of these strands here is it's attached to. There it is. All right, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Try not to. And I do have a four millimeter tapered hook. Four millimeter. As a tapered or boy style. I do believe this is the one I got in my um, Woobles kit. If it's not from that, it's from my coupe collection, but I think this is from the Woobles because the this where you rest your hands at, whether you're a knife grip or a pencil grip, is different. So all right, let's see. Can I get this off of here without busting the label? I really don't want to bust the there we go. Okay. All right. And I will try to put that back on there when I'm done. <laughs> we'll see. Well, there I go, just knocking over my stuff here. There we go. All right. So, let's get some of this off of here so I have enough to test. And we'll see how well it frogs. Ah! Uh, my husband he went to go get a tattoo um, in remembrance of his dad he was able to get a thumbprint and he's trying to get a tattoo done and then he goes and messages me I hope that doesn't ding me for uh, copyright because I'm not re-recording this <laughs> all right YouTube can just, I don't know what, but I'll have to see what he messaged me here in a second. All right. 
So this is see, seems like it's gonna start out on a smaller weight yarn. Well, smaller weight yarn, yeah. Thinner of the yarn. Let me see what he had to say real quick. <laughs> okay, so he had agreed on the design um, and they're getting ready to set up to start it. So he doesn't think it's gonna be more than a couple hours, but I don't know. He always thinks it's gonna be less than what it really is. For anybody that's had tattoos done, you, you know what I mean by that. Sorry about that. I can't talk and count at the same time or else I'm going to lose count or talk about something totally off topic. So, all right, so I've got a starting chain of 15 and you can already tell that, you know, where it's thick and where it's thin. I think right now it's um, a good four millimeter crochet hook is a good size to start with. It also depends on what you're making with this yarn. Um, this is very comfy. I would wear a wear. I would wear something against my skin, because since that was the word that was chosen that had the most votes, and I didn't have very many votes, but I do appreciate the ones that did vote it. Um, so going forward, I will use comfy as the where I would say it was soft enough to wear against my skin. Um, if it's not, then what I might use is scratchy. And I think a lot of times that's just going to be pure wool. It'll be like that. All right, so let's see here. I'm doing a single crochet row, and then I'll do a half double double. And we'll see where we're at it, that by then. And maybe I will do a triple. A row of triple. But we'll see. Um, I'm almost, <laughs> I know I said this on today's video, I am recording this on Tuesday night when my husband's going to get his tattoo done. Um, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. I'm hoping that I have the time tomorrow to record my Thursday video. Again, I do apologize if I don't have the time to do so because I do share an office with my husband and he works from home. So I, I have to make sure that he can do his work and, you know, nothing of his conversations are recorded because of what he does. So, all right. So there's the single crochet row. Not too bad. There's like a hint of white mixed in with the main color on this one. It's like an orange and cream color. I don't know if this will change colors before we go, we finish or not. So you can kind of judge that on if you could use this for color pooling. I wouldn't see why you couldn't, um, or it's just like more of a self striping because it's too long for color pooling. I haven't tried color pooling yet. Um, but that is one of my goals to learn how to do that knowing what stitch to use with how, how you know, depending on how um, short or long the color change is. Does that look like, okay, hold on a second. Did I accidentally, I've been doing triples lately, so I might have, yeah, I think I accidentally wrapped one too many times on that one. There we go, all right. Sometimes my think my brain just doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> if I've been doing one stitch for too long, it just tends to keep on trying to do that same stitch, even if I'm trying to do something different. So there I go again, trying to do a triple, only doing a half double. Um, but back to the to the uh, what I was talking about before is that I'm trying to get that scarf done. It's actually winding up a lot longer than I was expecting it to, which is fine. Um, at least 
I have a good idea of whether or not I'm going to um, offer this yarn to you, my my subscribers and other people. I want to make sure it's a good enough yarn that you guys will be happy with it. Um, so, and so far it's actually working out really well. Did I just do a single or a half double there? Half double, okay. See, I can't, sometimes I just can't talk and crochet at the same time. That's why I have that, my, that's why I designed that mug that says, go away, I'm counting, because my husband loves to try to throw me off when I'm trying to count. And that doesn't always work, and he knows it annoys me, so it, he does it more. I love him, but that's just him being him. So, all right, so far, no changes with the color. So, this would be more of a self striping. And there goes my dog barking. Uh, you might hear her, I don't know. When she's, when daddy's not home, she likes to act up. Sometimes more, <laughs> her grandma's counting <laughs> to stop barking. All right, so there is the half double. No splitting so far, which I was, I'm kind of surprised and kind of happy with. I don't like yarns that split. Um, if I did find that this was splitting, I might, might suggest going up a hook size or changing the style of hook. Like instead of using a tapered, use a inline, which is a, which is also known as a Susan Bates hook. So far, so good. I don't know. Has anybody ever used this yarn? If you have, what have you made with it? Have you made a wearable? Have you made something else? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, now we're on to the half double. It is really, I mean, I don't mind roving style and I know some people love it, some people hate it because it goes from very, to the thickest um, weight that it's basically on the label for, and it can go down to as little as like a one weight. So they use that as an average. I don't mind it if it doesn't stick to one another. <laughs> but it is definitely a different um, style of yarn and sometimes it's hard to see like right here I'm really at a thin point like maybe a one or a really thin two but if when I go through on the next row if I do go through and make another um, row of stitches it's gonna kind of be hard to see where that stitch is at depending on how what the weight you know, see and then it's hard to s at least for me may not be for you, but it, for me it is. I meant to get a different color. This one is in the color of, well, it's not a color, it's a dye number, it's a color number. It's 3517 and 8150 is the dye lot number. And honestly, for 300, where did it go to? 317 yards, this is a lot of cotton. That you could, you probably need would need two if you're doing it like a, like a summer cover, or even a, or like a beach cardi. Some people are making beach cardies right now to wear over their swimsuits, or even a summer poncho. You might need two depending on what size you need to make it, and whose pattern you're doing, or if you're making up your own pattern. I did finally finish. Um, Brownie Bear's, my um, Pitbull's sweater. I sent the pictures to Bag o Day. I don't know. I think I needed to make make it just a little bit bigger, but it works. I'll probably post pictures on my um, website. You can check them, check out there. 
And where else can I put some pictures? Hmm. I can put I can put a picture up on the community tab as well with her wearing it. It kind of it fits, but it was very tight, so it stretched a little bit. But now I know next time to just even though it looks like it's gonna fit right, maybe make it a couple more uh, rounds or rows or more um, extra to make it really fit. Cause it was a I didn't make armholes or anything. I just had her. You'll see, maybe you'll see, I don't know. If you look at the pictures I'll post, um, it shows her with two of the slices of watermelon on her backside and then underneath on her belly area, there's another circle for another watermelon slice. And that's, I basically had to pull her legs through and then they went over. It fit fine, but when she moved around, it kind of stretched out, so... All right, so there's the double crochet. Now, yes, I would say if you're using this as like a, if you're gonna make a beach cardi with it, I would suggest using the four point, the four millimeter, or maybe even a 4.5. Again, it all depends on the pattern that you're following and what they recommend for the hook size. But a four millimeter hook works great with this yarn. So now I'm gonna go ahead and frog it make sure it doesn't get caught up on anything even oh, see I think the thicker yarn in the, that go it's connected to thinner sections or might get stuck because it's thicker in those sections so it's gonna be a little bit harder to pull through but it's I mean just lightly pulling not like yanking it out here and my stepmother-in-law is getting a phone call again uh, I do apologize if you can hear her I don't know if the, my microphone is picking that up or not I've got a snowball so you know those those are pretty good Snowballs are pretty good, but I don't know if you'll pick, you'll hear her because she has to have the phone on speaker. So I do apologize if you can hear her in the background. All right. So this here, um, I'm not going to judge pricing because with it being at a local yarn shop, everybody's pricing is going to be slightly different. Now, I'm sure you can get this straight from Barico or Barocco online. Um, I do believe they will send it to your local yarn shop let me see if i can get that to not glare there we go um i had to turn it off that was glaring really bad so they do have the website bar barico or barocco.com and you can email me email them as well and this again is the barocco vivo vivo and it is 100 percent cotton i am gonna give this a nine out of ten the reason why I'm giving it that is because it's lay flat to dry. I don't get why I can't make more yarns dryable in the dryer. Life would be so much easier that way. And I get it because they don't want you ruining, you know, your whatever you make. Um, and then it'll last longer. But if you can wash it in the wa if you can wash it in a washer, but then lay it flat to dry, that just doesn't seem, I don't know just my opinion um so if you've ever again if you've ever used this yarn let me know what you've made with it um i would love to you know hear what you guys have used this for if you've never made anything with it would you be willing to you know try out a one skein because like i said there's 317 yards in this or 290 meters which is a pretty good amount even though it is um a roving style yarn which I'm finding there's a lot more yarns that are like that lately the roving style have you noticed that too or is it just me let me know in the comment section I will also link the my walkthrough videos for the yarn seasons where I purchased this from so you guys can check that out if you haven't already seen that those videos all right 
Well, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy the, my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe and then the notification the subscribe and then the notification bell. I'm getting so tongue tied right now. And then, all right. Well, I hope you all stay safe and stay crafty. Until next time, have a good one.